serious. Do you realize that science and medicine have gotten together and created so much crazy shit? They spend so much money on bullshit like Viagra and breast implants and they ignore important shit like Alzheimer's disease? Do you realize by the time we all get old, we gonna be walking around with big old titties and big old dicks and don't remember what to do with them? <laughs> I know one motherfucker took some bootleg Viagra, everything swole up except his dick. See, you gotta remember one thing. All that shit has a side effect. And they don't want you to listen to the side effects. You ever be watching the television and they tell you about this sinus medicine and they have you believing that this medicine is a bad motherfucker. And right before the commercial go off, here come the motherfucking side effects. Warning, this medicine will give you insomnia, headaches, and diarrhea. Now you got to decide whether you want to deal with a runny nose or a runny ass. Which one you going to deal with? But I like that shit. I wish every fucking thing came with a warning label with their side effects on it. Especially men. I wish men, y'all had a little label right here on your motherfucking neck so we can know what your ass is all about when we first meet you. I'm serious. Let's say you in the club, you chilling. He checking you out, you checking him out. You looking good, he looking good. Right before he pass you, you see his motherfucking side effects. Warning, this nigga is subject to run up your credit, fuck about two or three of your girlfriends, and has a tendency to whoop a bitch ass. What you gonna do? You know I go ahead and fuck with the nigga if the dick is good, you yeah. <laughs> know? Nigga might change, nigga might change. <laughs> I'm for real, cause I'm a drama type motherfucker. I like crazy niggas, I do. I like the kind of nigga come over to the house and spend a night. You leave $20 on the nightstand, he steal the motherfucking help you look for it in the morning and shit. Well, where the motherfucker out? Ain't nobody in here but me and you and shit. <laughs> I'm for real, that's the type of shit I like. I'm a drama type motherfucker. I love to get shit started. Especially fights, that's my shit. I be the motherfucker in the background cheering the fight on and shit. People be arguing, I be in the background talking about, that's some bullshit. And it's easy to make women fight. All you gotta do is wait like two seconds after they finish arguing, walk over to one of them and say some shit like this. That bitch could have never said that shit to me. They gonna fight! That's my shit. But I had a dream one time that I was standing in line at the gates of heaven and got into a fight. Now how the fuck can you get in a fight? Standing in line at the gates of heaven. Well, I'm standing in line, and Foxy Brown, the rapper, is standing in front of me, and Monica Lewinsky is standing in back of me. So Foxy Brown got up to the gate. She said, how you doing, St. Peter? She said, my name is Foxy Brown. I'm a rapper. I've done some sins in my life, but I'm still a good person, and I'm trying to get into the gates of heaven. He said, Foxy Brown, my child, what part of your body have you sinned with? She said, my hands. He said, go over there and rinse your hands out in the faucet and you may enter the gates of heaven. Next, it was my turn. I got up to the gate. I said, how you doing, St. Peter? My name is Samore. I'm a stand-up comedian. I've done some sins in my life, but I'm still a good person. He said, Samore, my child, what part of your body have you sinned with? Before I can say any fucking thing, Monica Lewinsky pushed me out the way. She said, excuse me, but can I rinse my mouth out in the faucet before this bitch put her ass in the water? I said, bitch, you don't know me like that. <laughs> oh, for real. That's the truth. I keep it real with motherfuckers. That's why my friends love me. My friends love me because I tell them the motherfucking truth. 
That's like Mary J. Blige, very good friend of mine, called me up on the phone talking about she getting ready to do a press release, tell the whole media that she getting ready to stop doing rap and go back to school and get her GED. I'm like, bitch, you done remade everybody's motherfucking songs. Why not just copy a motherfucker's diploma? I'm for real. <laughs> I'm for real. I see the reality of a lot of shit. That's why ever since I turned 30 years old, I ain't date no more men over 35. I'm not. I'm sick and tired of fucking niggas named Charlie and Rufus and Greg and them. I want to fuck some Hakeems, some Hank Daquans, some Taquans. I'm for real, you take a risk fucking them old men. They trying to get the pussy and dress socks and shit. He fuck around and slip and bust your lip. <laughs> I want a nigga that's got on some Timberlands. He got his feet planted in the ground and he right up in that ass. Just rocking that. <laughs> now, man over 35, don't get mad. I mean, because it just takes too much to please y'all. It does. Like, for instance. Get you one fine 19, 20, 21 year old, right? Bring him over to the house. Pull out your George Foreman grill. Put a little piece of chicken breast on the grill. He gonna be all impressed with the lines on the chicken and shit. He gonna say, ooh, that's just like the restaurant. He gonna be happy. But get you one of them niggas over 35, you got to make collard greens, potato salad, candy yams. You got to fuck around and make a whole peach cobbler to impress his ass. He be all judgmental and shit talking about why your rice sticking like that. You get you one of them young ass men, all you got to do is give him a Heineken, a PlayStation, and a Blunt. He gonna be like this, voila, voila. Now you might have to sleep with one eye open to make sure he don't steal shit. But the dick is good. I'm for real, the dick is good. And see, I'm, I'm serious about the dick, fuck that, cause at my age, I'm like this, fuck your bling bling, nigga, can you sling sling? That's what I'm talking about. I'm for real, cause dick is a beautiful thing. Y'all don't know dick like I know dick. Do you realize that if a man is fucking you right, you can spot his ass at the million man march? Did that motherfucker go right there? I'm telling you that, that nigga right there. The nigga's right there. Oh, dick is a beautiful thing. Especially if you fuck around and get you some good dick. Oh, and you don't know good dick like I know good dick. You know how you can tell you got a man with some good dick? When you let him drive your car and you know he ain't got no license. You say, go on, boo, fuck what the law say, nigga. You can drive, nigga. You know how you can tell if he got some good dick? When you got a crush on him, but he got a restraining order on you. Oh, that's when the dick is good. Oh, dick, good dick will make you do some crazy shit. Make you bust a nigga window out. Scratch his car up with a key. Be friends with his baby's mama. <laughs> oh, dick is a beautiful thing. But don't fuck around and get dickmatized. Oh, you done seen women that's dickmatized. That's when you can't see the reality of shit because the dick is too good. 
Women that's stigmatized be staying, saying stupid shit like this. No, 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 no. He don't be hitting me. I be walking into the punches and shit. That's what I'm saying. Don't be digmatized. And I say this to all my sisters. Ladies, keep your skills tight. We all know we got some skills. Your mother knew that as a little girl that you had this one, one instrument with inside you. And she knew that it was one essential toy that she could give you to help you perfect that tool. Ladies, when you was about eight years old, your mother put you outside on the front porch and she gave you a hula hoop. You didn't quite understand why she insisted that you learn how to do the hula hoop. You got out there with the hula hoop rocking around your waist. And at first it was a little bit difficult for you, but you kept on trying. Then after a while, when you got it rocking to your own certain pattern, it made a certain sound. It says, sk, 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 sk. And when you heard that sound, you knew you was the shit. Sk, 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 sk. Then your girlfriend holler, put it round your neck. So I say to all my sisters here tonight, the next time that you have to remind him of just who you are, the next time that you have to put it down on him, the next time that you up on top and you're riding him real good, you riding his dick so good that his toes is curling up, his eyes is rolling in the back of his head, you riding his dick so good that he can't even close his mouth, 